Happy Hi, Monday! Hey. How is everybody? Guess what? We have a new project. We have a new stencil. We have a new kit. Michelle's holding a picture of our brand new kit. So fun. We were just talking about that she makes really pretty pots, but she kills her plants. <laughs> but my kids have green thumbs, so we work together. Is anybody like that? Hey, Sharon. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Tamara. Like, I kill cactus. Succulents don't Do you? Live at my, oh yeah, I, I kill all the things. Michelle, I need to talk to you about it's succulents. <laughs> succulents are so easy. I know, I grew up in New Mexico with cactus. Oh my we gosh. We would transplant them. I would kill them. Ah, it's bad. So, hey Tammy, <laughs> hey guys. So my name is Amy. I'm Michelle. And we are wanting to show you, as we do every Monday, um, a new project and a new kit. You are going to love today. I Look love at this. We, we showed you this on Friday. Is this the so cutest pot cute. ever, ever, so ever, cute. ever? So it's all about taking, and I'm trying to think as far as where we got these pots. Target. These in are that, in that cheap spot right at the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. $1, $3, $5, whatever it is. All right, so here you go. Just a plain little pots like this Terracotta. in the Target section. And these ones are so fun. I love that they're like kind of this really sweet rounded with no edges. I love them. Like, I want these. Is this the cutest? <laughs> now, I mean, while this is okay, it's really boring. It's boring. But look at this. Yay. This would be absolutely the cutest for Next you to be level. able to have in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. So you could put succulents, because of the color that we did this in, green would look so pretty absolutely. in this. You could do Absolutely. your herbs, you could do your succulents, and this would be adorable in your kitchen window for you to be able to enjoy. Hey, Jolene. Love, I love that song. Jolene, Jolene. All right, who sings that? Oh, that was uh, one of my favorite people, Dolly Parton. So, hey, guys. Greetings. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Lena. Hey, Sherry. So, hey, Ann. So, if, if you've never watched us before, we do something special every time we do one of these lives. We give away one of the kits that we're showing you. Sure do. So, all you have to do in this adorable uh, project, this kit that we're introducing today, all you have to do is share this video and tag three friends. And... Um, and your name will go in for a drawing and we'll be giving one of these away every week. And so today we'll actually be making uh, the announcement of the winner that we had from Friday. So that way a lot of people will call the office and say, did I win? Did Have I you win? chosen the person yet? Pick me. <laughs> we do that every <laughs> Monday. So, um, I'll, but I'll share it. we say sharing is caring. So, hey Debbie, hey guys. So we're excited that you're watching today. Please do uh, send us some love. Tell us where you're tuning in from. We'd love to know what cities everybody's Absolutely. watching from. And then um, also to share it with your friends. But like, is this the cutest? So we're gonna show you how to create this technique on just a plain old um, terracotta, terracotta pot. pot that we Nothing got at special. Target. And I did notice after Michelle told me that. I it's from the paint. It's, five, it's the $5 <laughs> pot. It is, they're cheap. It's the $5 pot. And the shape is fun. It and is this phenomenal. really makes it, it, it really makes it a lot of fun. I hey, like Brenda, we love ones. you too. I mean, I, they're fine when they go up and they have the rim, but it's so boring. These are like, there's a little bit of character in the terracotta oh, pot. Oh, totally. I like it. Oh my gosh. I think it's just screaming, put a succulent in me. <laughs> like, oh, I. That's a stencil. Put a succulent in me. Oh. So I do want to show you. Hey, Cindy from Illinois. Um, I hope the weather's better for you guys up there. Becky, don't you love the shade? I know it's so cute. It's a great shade. Such a great shade. I had not seen it. I hadn't either. I thought they were awesome. So here, here's the new stencil. You're going to see so many cute projects done with this. So cute. Because look at this. Look at the bottom. Because it's all geared towards your plants. This is what all of mine need to say. I will I survive. I will survive. <laughs> they will be more determined than I am. Do you love that? <laughs> We did the cutest little water. You'll be seeing it. Thanks for sharing, Michelle. Um, we did the cutest little waterer, and I, I it laugh I every time plants. I see it. But it says, "I wet my plants." <laughs> I just, I'm like, I laugh every time I see that. It's hilarious. But root for me, I wet my plants, and I will survive. It's just the cutest. But this, this whole kind of boho look, yes. is big it's right huge. now. Big, big, big. So whether you are doing this on like containers like we're doing mm -hmm. today or 
You could definitely use these on some totes. You could create it with the inks with this on the cosmetic bag. All the options. Which so I'll, many options. I will just, I'm going to give a, um, uh oh. Uh oh. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know Wednesday. <laughs> she says, I'm going to, uh, mm. getting kind of get in trouble, and that's okay. Um, Wednesday, we are introducing some brand new ceramic paint mm. colors. We've been promising you guys that we're going to have ceramics they are really in exciting. metallics and a bunch of spring colors that you are going to love. Yeah. You're going to love, love, love mm -hmm. them. So, but today we really are jazzed about um, the kit and the front of that shows you what comes in this kit. So it's kind of fun. It includes the paint. So that way, look at this. It will include the paint French and the stencil and for you to be able to create this exact look. So all you have to do, as soon as we're finished, we're run so to excited. Target. Run to Target and buy them up because this is totally something. You could find this. I know, in, I need to go on the way home. <laughs> you could find this in a gift shop and they would be selling it for a lot of oh, money. 25, 30 bucks. Oh, easy, easy. easy. You could t totally turn around and sell these. You could give them away. You can have them in your house. But I just love the fact of the blues that we've done. Look so good with the terracotta, and they're going to look so good with a green plant inside. Mm -hmm. So cute. So are y'all ready to learn and how to do this? And they're my color scheme, so bring it. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a color scheme for anybody. I So I am grays and whites, and then the colors are a deep, deep blue, paler blue. Like, the yeah. accents are in the blues. Yes. Totally. Oh, this Love is so it. in. And it's so soothing. It's so soothing, but it's so in right now. I just think it's so, so chic. And the stencil you're going to be able to use on a lot so of other projects, many too. many options. Not just this. Mm -hmm. I love all the borders in it. So, Becky, what city do you live in? Because um, we're all going to be Target, running to Target. <laughs> Isn't that fun, though? You know what it, what it is that you're looking for. You're going to be able to go in. It's like, specifically... Um, I know this is what I'm looking for. Yes. Hey, Debbie from, from Kansas. Um, all right, so let's get started. Are y'all ready? So as we continue to show you how to be able to create this project, please tell us where you're tuning in from. Share, share this video. Tag three friends. Your name will go in for a drawing because we need to give this kid away to some lucky person that we draw. So all day today, all day Tuesday, and then um, Wednesday, then Wednesday afternoon, we'll be um, actually doing it and um, giving it away. All right, so let's do it. I'm gonna turn this down so that way you can see what it is that we are doing. And uh, then do hashtag replay. And we just love, we love seeing who's on here. Know that we love you and we value you so much. It means the world to us. Absolutely. Um, that you support our company the way you do and the gals that work here. All right, so here we go. Let's turn this baby down. All right. All right, friends the cutest isn't it so we have french blue one step paint and we have brooks gray one step paint they come in the kit and um what we are doing is mixing these colors and we're going to mix the lightest value first and work from kind of like the top third or the top um three quarters of the thing down so i'm going to do one part Brooks Gray, which is my darkest value. And this all comes in the kit, it guys. Does. That way you don't have to worry about getting the right color. You don't have to worry about and then trying to guess what it is. French blue. One, two, three. So one part three. Brooks one part Gray. Brooks. Mm -hmm. And three parts French blue. And then we're going to do three parts water. And I just have a squirt bottle so that I can pour in the water. <coughs> one. Oh, sorry, four parts water. You're doing one teaspoon of water for every teaspoon of paint you put in. So I did four of, or one, one of Brooks and four of French Blue. So there's my four. Here's the good thing, guys. I'll just show you this. It tells you. When you order the kit, you get this recipe card inside it. And it has all the step outs mm -hmm. and all the directions on the back as well. You can go back and, of course, watch this video at any time. But this will be in the kit. The instructions are there, yes. And I just want to stir it up. Hold your cup really well. That's how I poured it earlier. <laughs> I was stirring. And I. And that's how you got it all I over you? I tipped it. And down my little cup went and I couldn't catch it fast enough. Here 
Yeah, because I'm still seeing some dark color down at the bottom. The Brooks? Yeah. I might need to get my sponge brush to do it. I don't know why it doesn't. I'm like, my spoon is down in there. You seem to be there. okay. I think it's mixing okay. it up. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to move my spoon. This is the project that we're showing you how to do these washes on your ceramic pot that we got at Target in the $5 section, the cheap section. So, everybody needs to run to Target after we get through showing you how to do this. Okay. Order the kit first because we may sell out of the kit too. That's right. That would be sad. All right, so we're gonna work on the top three quarters first. And we're wanting, to, I'm gonna put my hand in it actually because I can spin it easier. Um, I wanna make a solid line, but I don't want it to be straight. I just want it to kind of flow like a mountain line or an ocean. I want it to have some movement to it. So I want it to be solid with paint. I don't want it to be where I can see the terracotta through it but at the same time, it doesn't have to be straight. It's almost good if it's not straight. Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna give you that depth where they overlap and it just gives you movement. It's really nice. Hey guys, as you pop on here, hey, my name is Amy, this is Michelle, and we're showing you how to do a brand new kit that we've got called Our Root For Me. And it comes with the paints, the brushes, and the stencil mm -hmm. for you to be able to create this look on your pots. You just want to run to Target and get these from the cheap $5 section as soon as we show you how to do this. <laughs> as soon as we get off the live. So we're going to start with our lightest color first. Well, this is actually our medium. So we're going to water this down and then come back and do the very lightest layer. Even so it thinner looks up at the lighter. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. But it's this exact same value. So what we'll do is add more water to this and make it even lighter. Look how it dries almost immediately. Almost immediately. And you don't want to do this with any acrylic paint, guys, mm -hmm. because it's not it going to do the same. Uh uh. It won't flow the same. And the great thing about the uh, one step paint is that it's completely matte, which is part of the beauty of this. Absolutely. You, you want it to be matte. Okay. So while I let that dry, what I would do is thin this down with more water. That way everybody can kind of see what we're doing. So how much more water are we adding now? We say three parts in the um, in the instructions. instructions, but it just depends. If it still feels kind of thick, you might want to water it down even more. Guys, you know, the other thing too is your friends are going to love the fact that you shared this video. Absolutely. They're like, oh my gosh, this is the cutest. Thanks so much for sharing this. And it gets your name in for the drawing. Um, yeah, I would want my friends to share with me. I'm going to share it. <laughs> <laughs> I share it. So here's the process. Here's our end result. This is what we're kind of taking you through. This is backwards. As far as um, you can see the color that we've got at the top, what, that, what that's looking like. Now Michelle's got our second color ready. I do. My second light value. color. So this one I'm also going to do, I want to be quick because I don't want it as thick and opaque as that first line that I made. You want it thinner. I want it thinner. More sheer. Yep. That would be an important aspect of it because it makes it look almost like it's the sky mm -hmm. or mountains. Yep. It gives That's it the reason for thinning it down more so you've got your different values. Love that. Isn't that fun? And I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to go that back so over cool. that like I did the second one. That is so cool. Isn't it fun? And it soaks right into the Absolutely. clay. Absolutely. It does so fast. So the clay is just sucking that up. Okay. So then we're going to mix the second time because we do want to go darker this time. So our new base is going to be one parts Brooks, which is the darker value. Such a pretty color. It is one of my favorites of all time. Has been since I started working for you. <laughs> and then two parts French blue. Because what we're going to do here is this is our next value, but it's darker. And what we're going to do is continue to add Brooks Gray as we make these darker values. So this is what we just did. It's more sheer. 
and Elizabeth is saying, please point out that this is an atmosphere perspective. Ooh, I like that. Yes, so pretty, love it. Okay, and now I'm going to add three parts water, because I did, actually I think it's two parts water. Will you read it to me, Amy? What does it say, two parts water? All right, so we're looking on the recipe card. I think it says two, doesn't it? On so number three, we are, Grab another bowl and mix one part Brooks Gray and two parts French Blue with two parts water. There we go. Make another pass, dropping below the other two sections. Allow it to dry and then continue the layering process, adding in more Brooks Gray to your mixture each time. So from here, I'm going to keep using this mixture and just adding more Brooks to it as I go. And honestly, you can make as many layers as you want. We did one, two, three variations off of this color. Isn't that pretty? It really does go along too with the shape of this. It does. I think it might be difficult to have it on one that wasn't round like this. I don't I think agree. it would be I think near it'd be as harder fabulous. to make it yeah. flow. Yeah, I do too. So I think guys, it's gonna be really important that you stay with a cylinder type mm -hmm. terracotta, as we shared with you just now popping on. We got these in the cheap section at Target. And so, you know, where they have the two, three, five dollars, these are five dollars mm -hmm. each. So it's gonna be really important that you stay with the cylinder. So this time I'm just gonna come a little bit different, but again, I still want a solid line, but I'm and gonna- And there's some movement in it. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be straight. I want movement. I'm not as worried about the um, bottom as I am the top because I'm just going to layer that. The great thing too, there's no VOCs in this paint mm -hmm. and it smells great. It's easy to work with. I it dries quickly. It's water-based so all you have to do is clean out your brush with soap and water. So see now we have that next and remember that our colors dry darker. So yes. they get darker as they dry. So that's that next variation that I've got on there. And I am going to add more Brooks right here to make this darker for my next variation. Which is this one down here. Yes. But I'm not gonna add more water. I'm just gonna add more Brooks. So guys, we are introducing our, new, our brand new kit today that's called Root For Me. And you do get the paints that we're working with as well as the stencil and the brushes to be able to recreate this look. That way you don't have to go around and find anything. Right. So it makes it nice and easy for you. All you have to do is go to Target and get the container. And I want that a tiny bit darker, so I'm gonna add a little bit more Brooks. That's the beautiful thing. You can blend this how you want it, my friends. Hey, Pat. Hey, guys. Please be sure as you hop on here, just say hey, so that way we know who's watching. Yeah, there we go. Look at that color. Pretty. And you can. This is like, this is a way for everybody to be able to make it what they want. Absolutely. We do love the color combinations that we've put together with this in the kit because we think it goes great with green plants as well as um, the terracotta. Mm -hmm. it's so, so pretty. And this boho chic designs, guys, that you have on this stencil, you can use with a lot of things, but it is very in right now. Very. Big time. So we're staying on the trends for you. Mm -hmm. Bringing back the, um, what is it, macrame? Like the, the all, all it's of that's all coming back. back. Yes. All of it's back. All right, friends. So we're gonna go for our fourth layer here. I'm trying to Thank you for spreading the love, here. thank you. But your friends would love for you to show this to them. They're like, oh my gosh, I love this. Thank you for sharing that on your feed. Hey, hey, hey. I like that these are not giant too, that like it's easy enough it's for me to maneuver yes. with one hand and yes. I'm not like weighted down or oh my gosh, it's so heavy or I feel like I'm gonna drop it. I don't feel that way. I think it would be fun to do a grouping. 
with different sizes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Totally do a grouping, guys. And then that way, on each one where you've got your little sayings that makes everybody kind of laugh, you could have one that was... You have to have a wet my yes. plants. Yes. You, you could to. have an I will survive and I wet my plants as well as root for me. You know I have to make I wet, I wet my plants for the boys. Yes. That would be so funny. They think it's hilarious. That would be like hilarious. Like they will lose their minds. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna put on our last color. We're putting in some more green. I want this one to be really dark, so I just did a spoon and a half. I'm just gonna stir it up again. So fun. I love mixing. It's one of my favorite things. Well, colors. I like to see what happens. I like to get to that place that I just, mm, I love it. Well, these colors are very soothing. They, they feel good. They would go with any decor. And if you want to, I mean, I, I'm all about giving gifts. You could totally make one of these for yourself and then put um, put a succulent in it and give it to a friend. Give it away. Mother's Day is coming. Yes, this you know, is a like great Mother's great Day gift. Time love that. Coming. That would yes, be love that. really And spring amazing. and summer, it's all about plants. Yes. It's about plants and having stuff outside. Okay, so here's the other thing. With this paint, you can put this outdoors. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize we're not using any chalk art. We're not using anything that you have to worry about because if you want to put this outdoors, you can. you're good to go. You can. You don't have to seal it. You don't have to put any wax over it. It is good to go. Lo don't you love that? Okay, friends. We're going to use our last. Our last color, color to be able. So you see, we started first with our lightest color and we're working our way down. And that's kind of the whole layering process with this. I still have some drying to do. I want you to dry between, um, which you don't need, uh, we need a few more minutes, but we can't just sit here and wait and watch paint to dry. So we are still going, <laughs> but it would be great if you would give just a little bit of time for those coats to dry. I wonder why that's lighter than that. Because it just needs to be mixed up a little bit more. Get all your color from the bottom. There you go. It goes on so easy. It does. It's just smooth. So see how she's kind of going up and down, so it's giving it more, it feels mountainous, like it is just this landscape that's yeah. so beautiful. You don't want it to go straight. Was that brush giving you fits? Mm -hmm. I think it was one of the ones that had lighter colors in it. Hey guys, so as you pop there on here, go. there you go. As you pop on here, just say, hey, tell us where you're tuning in from. And let me see. I'll, we will go back and see as far as your comments, your questions, your suggestions. And please, if you're not part of our Crafting a Beautiful Life group and you do Join. this project, Please, it's just our Facebook group where we show our creative projects and what we're doing and we inspire each other. Um, join that group and then that way share with us what you did. You may even get this kit and then decide to change up some colors. I love these blue colors. That is so perfect, Michelle. So that's going to so finish cute. drying. Yes. But I already painted one so we can show you the next steps. Yes. <laughs> perfect. Love that. Love that. And I still have... A Half lot of a paint container left of over. paints, y'all. And I have plenty already mixed up. You could do lots of projects with what you mix. Totally. It goes a long way. You could, okay. With this kit, with what they're getting, would you say they could probably do eight or ten pots? Oh, I definitely. I think we could probably do five just with what I already have mixed. Oh, that's fantastic. Guys, yeah. that's, that's great. That's exciting. So it's really nice. So I, was, I did this one earlier because we need it to be dry to show you the stenciling. And we're stenciling with the one-step paint as well. We're not um, using. But now here's the caveat. Or here's the caveat with the one-step. You've got to work fast. You have to work fast, because, especially on this terracotta. Yes, and you need the stencil. I do. Would you mind sending me the scissors? And it's going to. Uh, you've got to work really quickly. 
because you don't want it to dry in your mesh. Mm -hmm. So as you are putting your words on, depending on which one you choose, you want to get it on and then have your water source right next to you and clean it out quickly. Yep, and we have it. So we've got our Tupperware container right near us. I'm going to set that over there by you. Because if you don't work quickly, the, the one-step paint will dry in the mesh and we don't want that to happen. So mm -hmm. it's very easy and simple to do. I just realized what we're doing today looks like your shirt. Yes. <laughs> I How love weird is that? Shirt. Be careful, we've got a couple of little drips of paint okay. here. I am getting some painter's tape, y'all, because I want to protect my edge on that top. And um, I'm using permanent paint and I'm using a pouncer to do it. So it's not as accurate um, as if I were using like the spreader. I can be more accurate with the spreader. Yeah, and we're not doing it, we don't need it for the adhesion as much as it is that we're protecting it that we just don't want to get it. Yes, I'm actually putting the blue just under. Um, I put my tape under my stencil on the top. And then I, I think I'll be okay on the sides. I'm just gonna work that down so that I can see. Are you okay working upside like down that? so they can see? I think I am. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape down on top of our paint. So that I don't here. hit it. <laughs> Thank so you. That way it doesn't mess up our cute little. Absolutely. Okay. That's the joy of, you know, working. I make a mess. Okay, so I've got that laid down really well. I do have some puckers on the edges, but they're not in my. No, it's not gonna affect what our words are. So I'm not are. worried about it. You're going to get a foam dome in your kit and I'm actually going to use the lid to onload and then I'm going to offload on the glass because I don't want a ton. I don't, um, I don't want it to seep under in any way. So I want to go to come yep, over here. So, so, I can see. so here's the deal guys. What Michelle is getting ready to do. You'll notice she's laying down the root for me on the darker area because that way it's going to show up better. You don't want to go too high up because you won't be able to see the words. And you've got three really cute sayings to use, whether it's root for me or I will survive or I wet my plants. Um, so it's definitely all about humor. But um, so that way you want to be able to make sure your placement is right. And I am just pouncing up and down. And usually I make sure with the one step that I cannot see the words anymore. That's kind of like my indicator that I got it everywhere. All right. So as soon as you get that, guess what? Peel. Take it off. Peel. Take it off. And then that way we need to clean it really quickly. So I'll have a little container here. And we are just going to lay it in the water. Because one step paint, if it dries in your mesh, is not coming out. No. You've got to clean it very quickly. All right. Ta-da! So cute. Okay, now I'm going to create my border across the top. So see, look, it came out of all my mesh. You just wanna make sure when you're working with the One Step Paint guys that you clean it very quickly and that way it gets all out. If you let it sit in here for five minutes, it ain't coming out. That's right. And this is permanent. So working with it on the terracotta it's good outdoors, it's yes. not coming off. You don't have to wax it, you don't have to seal it, you don't have to do anything. Because part of what we love about it is the fact that it's got this gorgeous matte finish. So now the next thing that Michelle is doing is we're gonna come back and add our detail at we the are. top. We're gonna put a border across the top. Just right here, it just frames it out really nicely. And again, I'm probably gonna use some painter's tape to give myself just a little extra grace. That is so cute. That is so stinking cute. What I did was I went ahead and cut the next row as well so that I'm protected across the top. I don't care if I get paint up there. And then what I'm gonna do is put painter's tape across the bottom to give me a little extra Extra grace. protection. Little so that extra way you can grace. See 
what that looks like. Isn't that fine? So you're going to do the same thing again with the foam dome brush. It's an up and down motion. You're not going across it. It's just pressing it into the mesh and lifting it up. Just for protection, not for adhesion. Nope, just to give myself a little bit more wiggle room. Wiggle room when I pounce. And guys, so that what we're doing today is we're showing you how to create this beautiful, almost ethereal landscape so look on your pots. We're doing this on a Target pot, a cylinder pot. And the kit has all the paints in it and the brushes as well as the stencil. So that way you don't have to go and try to figure it out. And it's permanent. This is a chalk-based paint that does not have to be sealed and you can use this outdoors. And you get enough material in this kit to be able to probably do a dozen pots. I'm thinking. And it also comes with your uh, recipe card like this. And it has all the step out directions. If you want to, you can come back and watch this, but it's really good and detailed as far as step outs, how to be able to do the kit. So we were just saying how Mother's Day is it's coming right around the corner. What a great gift to be able to give to your mother. Absolutely. I'm peeling as I go, y'all, just so that I don't pull um, from my, I don't want it to dry and she's working quickly. When we're working with one step paint, we need to work quick, quick, quick. We just wanna be able to get it to where we get this thing in the water and we get this paint out of our mesh so we can use our stencil again. I'm drying up. I don't have enough in my lid. Ah. Just a little bit right there. Worst case scenario, we can come back. All right. Oh, it dried. Okay, we'll just come back. Let me clean this out really quickly. I let it well, do dry. We have a, do we have a sponge brush? I mean, a sponge, um, natural seawall? We can find one. I mean, I can use my fingers. <laughs> I know, I love to use my fingers. You just want to have your water here, put a little bit of pressure to it. I'm not just letting it sit in here. I, I am wiping this paint out of here because I don't want it down in my mesh. Oh, here. I thought you meant to <laughs> fingers to apply the one step. <laughs> no, natural seawall sponge. All right. That way it just kind of acts as more easier for me to be able I'm I'm not worried about it get staying on the, the actual stencil as much as I am I want to get it out of the mesh out of the mesh all right and then I'm just gonna lay this down side up side up to be able to let it draw so Ta-da! Sorry. We did it! It seemed, we're crooked. It seemed a little bit more involved. And I apologize for that. But you learned something. Didn't you learn something? Absolutely. Isn't that fun? It's great. You did These a great job, Michelle. Happy. So the paint, um, it is our one-step paint. It's permanent. You can use it on ceramic. It's absolutely fabulous. And it comes in the kit. So it's perfect. You don't have to go anywhere else to try need. to find it. And you you really do get enough to be able to do probably a dozen pots. I mean, y'all, I still have all of this left from what I mixed. Yeah. So you've got a lot left. I think it's better. I wouldn't want to use an enamel paint. I no. want a water-based paint because yes. I'm able to thin it down. An enamel paint would make you to where you're having to work with thinner. You don't want to have to worry with that. There's no VOCs in this. Mm -mm. And it's absolutely um, uh, to do the back. So how long do you wait to do the back? We worked our way all I the way around. I worked all the way around. So you, you I just, just go back and do hashtag replay. And just kept spinning it. Yes, so we actually kind of like the detail. We don't plan on finishing the back with a border at the top. Nope. I think it's perfect. So thank you, Mary Ann, thank you. But if you wanted to go all the way around, you would just lay your stencil down again and make it continue. 
It could just be two steps. <laughs> it's phone being crooked. So, can we see the stencil, please? Yes, you may. Well, now that we've cut it we up. we cut it up. So, here's the top and then the bottom. And the bottom one said, root for me. I wet my plants. I will survive. And we use the arrows right in the center. And this is actually a kit that we're introducing today. So, you see it comes with the paints and the brushes and the stencil. So that way you don't have to go out and find anything. All you need to do is to get to Buy Target. The kit. Get to Target as fast as you can. <laughs> because after we've shown everybody how these adorable $5 um, cylinders. They're going to all sell out. They're going to be sold out. And then everybody's going to be calling up here going, how do I get these? So these would be great gifts. These would be great Mother's Day gifts. Get together with a friend because you can very easily do 10 or 12 of them with this kit. Absolutely. Just please make sure you clean out your stencil because we don't want that paint drying in there. And um, it's now it's a race. Go to Target. Place an order for the kit because we may sell out of these. You're, you're going to love this you're stencil. You're going to love it. And if you've already got the one-step paint, you're one step further. You just have to turn around and order the stencil. And please share your projects on the Crafting Your Beautiful we Life. We want to see them. We want to see them. We love this color palette. Um, but we want to see what else you guys create. We love you guys. Have a great week. Enjoy this spring weather as we get ready. We are in Holy Week. Let's Amen. all be remembering what this week Me. was like. What it means and allow it to allow it to change us allow it to put things in perspective and really um really enjoy it so um i love this week i love easter it's one of my favorite times and um then just get a chuckle when you see this i love it great job girl all right guys have a great week we'll see you back here on wednesday because we've got something special that we're introducing you're gonna want it love you bye, bye. friends bye.